In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make five arrow options infographic slide in PowerPoint. As you can see here, I have created these five different uh, color arrows, which is merging towards one arrow and it's going to give you the output. And then you can add your different icons here and you can add your own title and the detailed text for each option. And apart from this, I have created one more slide with a different of arrow color here so let's see how to do this in powerpoint add a new slide go to insert shapes and from the lines i'm going to select the freeform shape click in the middle of the slide hold the shift key to get the perfect straight line and just double click it so you can see here you got this straight line and then i'm going to add two more curve lines for that go to insert shapes i'm going to select this curve click at the bottom here straight one more time i'm just going to click once and then just bend it you can see here and just double click it so you end up getting this line now if this is not straight you can just right mouse click edit point and you can see here this one i can just simply move a little bit here make sure that this is perfectly straight you can just play like this now i'm just going to select this increase the width right mouse click go to format shape the width i'm going to make it say 27 and for this also i'm going to make it 27 so you can see here and i'm going to add one more press ctrl d to duplicate it bring it this side and reduce the height so you end up getting like this and then I'm just going to make it more closer. You can see here. And then I'm going to select both of this. Press Ctrl D to duplicate. Bring the other side. And I'm just going to select both. Go to Format, Rotate. And you can just say simply flip horizontal. And just bring this one here. And again this one here. You can see here. We got this one and then i'm going to change the color of each for example depending on your requirement whichever color you choose you can just give the colors different colors you can see here i'm going to give some random colors again you can just change according to your requirement and maybe i'll give maybe this color so you can see here i have added this five let me just press ctrl g to group it move it somewhat up and again if you want you can increase or decrease the size something like this but anyway let it be like this and then i'm going to add the oval points at the top now before adding the oval shapes you can see here there's a less spacing and if you want to increase the spacing let me just ungroup this and then i'm just going to select the first one right mouse click edit points and you can just bend it a little bit something like this you can see here more if you want and then just correct the position and this also edit point just bend a little bit and just correct this and here also i'm going to do the same thing edit points bend this and this also edit points and bend this so you can see here i have got more bending space here then go to insert shapes select the oval shape draw the small oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get the perfect color and then i'm just going to put it here shape outline make it no outline and press ctrl d to duplicate it reduce the size again by holding the shift key and i'm going to give some light gray color and put it exactly at the top you can see here and this color i'm going to select the same color which i have used for this and i'm going to give some shadow effect you can see here now i can just group this two oval shapes press ctrl g ctrl d to duplicate and put it here again you can change the color you can see here press ctrl d just add one by one and later on you can just change the color let me just change this color which i have used this one for this i'm going to use this 
and this one orange sorry this color so you can see here our design of the arrows are ready now we have to work on the bottom part now if you want you can add the option number here one two three four five or a b c d or if you want you can just add some icons also if you have the icons you can just simply go to insert uh, and click on the icons if you don't have this feature this feature is available only in the latest versions of powerpoint in that case you can just add the text here so let me just add some icons here i'm just going to randomly select few icons you can see here five just bring the other side let me just make it to point four the height and width and just i'm going to place the icons in the center of the old shape you can see here and then let's add one more big arrow go to insert shapes you can select the oval shape if you want uh, sorry the rounded corner rectangle make it this much size shape outline make it no outline and you can give some dark or this light gray color let it be less curved and then i'm going to add one triangle i'm going to select this draw the triangle give the same color shape outline make it no outline and rotate just say flip vertical and just bring it here let me just increase the size you can see here now i'm just going to select both of this you can just press ctrl g to group it so it becomes one object and if you want you can give some shadow effect something like this you can see here you can just give and increase the distance a little bit and then if you want you can give some more effect here go to insert shapes i'm just going to select a small lines the rectangles i'm going to select shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to add five press ctrl d this is my second one third fourth and fifth so this color i'm going to use the same color which i've used this then i'm going to use the next one is this color for this I'm going to use the orange then the this color and then the aqua color you can see here press ctrl G to group it you can just add it something like this here right mouse click again ungroup it and then you can give some gradient color also here for example let me just select the gradient the four stops are there let me just remove and keep only two stops and the type i'm going to select the linear and i'm going to select which is this one so this color also i can just simply do like this and this color i'm going to make it more transparent so it looks something like this you can see here for example i can just go to home double click the format painter i can do the something like this and then i can just again one by one i can just change the color according to the color of the arrows here so both ways if you want to do like this you can do it or you can just simply keep only one color also not a problem so let me just select this now and for this i'm going to select this color so you can see here this shadow this effect we have created and if you want you can just add the text over here so before adding the text if you want to add some small arrows also you can just add it go to insert shapes and select this down arrow make it small arrow bring it here you can see here make it more smaller and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill you can give a light gray color something like this you can see here press ctrl d move a little bit just bend it you can see here again press ctrl d you can just play something like this again ctrl d for this side again ctrl d the other side 
you can see here now let me just add some text go to insert text box and add your detailed text here if you want you can just add some title also let it be calibre and write a line you can see here press ctrl d ctrl d and this will be a center aligned ctrl d this will be left aligned so you can see here our design is uh, ready if you want you can just add some more text here or you can just uh, give more some kind of animation effects also to this that's it from me friends thank you for watching my youtube channel and don't forget to subscribe powerpoint university see you soon with more interesting stuff till then goodbye